Let's go, boys. Boxing Heaters has returned. Welcome back, all of our listeners. It's been an entire year. We're just balling out. Floated our way down Bradenton, Florida. Dude, a lot's happened up to this point, but that we manifested Florida. Here we are. Off the Manatee River, floating away. Here with the boys, dude. Good to be back. It's been a minute since we've been able to get together. Put together a good quality podcast, just talk some things. We've had the experiences of this year brought us to this point, you know. Yeah, full MLB season, dude. Yeah, another one in the books. It's hard to end the page when the season ends. And transitioning into the home style of your living, you know, getting to the family, enjoying your personal time is like that home away from work. And it's, you know, closing that last chapter of the season is like the hardest part, you know. It's like that little phase getting into the off season is always like the mystery box. We got to Bradenton and just started with the plan. Need to get a crib, we can chill at you know who i've been on the move for like four or five years in a row out of a suitcase new cities the la scottsdale st pete we're here in florida tattoo artist humberto is in the building flew out from az phoenix <laughs> yeah known humberto a few years now what's it been bro like three years four years yeah just about everything you did today to touch all that up yeah that is yeah, right? so unbelievable it's wild the detail, it's exquisite. That's like the icing on the cake, yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the white. Yeah. It was already dark beforehand, so what we had to do is just mainly focus on just like making it pop more, you know? Yeah. Smoothing some things out, connecting New everything. Age, like, yeah. yeah. It's Probably so crazy how much of the night. culture is becoming, right? Yeah. I mean, just now it's like okay for people to express themselves, you know? Rotation, right? It's like there. you're bringing some Twisted. swag to the game. Oh, yeah. For baseball, for sure. Yeah. I think just in general, some people value this art, you know, and some people see it as tattoo, and some people mm -hmm. see it the way they perceive things. But when you can really focus on how gifted you are as an artist and can put that on skin, and I can wear it every single day, it sends a message. And baseball just gives me the platform to wear it on my skin to be expressive mm -hmm. so that people can just feel comfortable watching me or can exactly. feel comfortable expressing themselves because it's so vibrant, you know, mm -hmm. and it's okay. It's just like expressive, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I do every day. Yeah. I'm booked out right now to like 2025, yeah. every single day. It's because of moments like that. It's because some people take it more seriously than others. A family member that passed away or whatever and then they're waiting this amount of years to get tattooed by you and it's forever it's permanent it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it comes in depth in so many different ways for certain people yeah, some more funny. serious than others or whatever but yeah. it gets really personal you end up growing with these people yeah. like you live on them for the rest of their life you have to go in there and paint that form it's a special Bro. thing for them mm -hmm. that they have to hope that you make is perfect so mm -hmm. that they can look at their mm -hmm. family member the rest of their lives and say, exactly that's beautiful Bro, and, and you have to tune in too. You have to really feel like I'm a part of that family member. Like I have to yeah. do justice and right by them. Like as if they're watching me do it. Like I have to do it as best as I can, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. they like are, you know what I mean? Like, I take it very seriously. And then not just that, like, you know, I'm very competitive too. Like I grew up watching Michael Jordan. So if whenever I do get it, like a new client or whatever, it's just a natural in my DNA, I guess, to be like, oh, let me see the, whatever work you have on you. And I compare my, and I, I see the quality. I'm like, okay, I have to make sure mine's, no matter whose name it is, I have to make sure that mine's for sure the best on your body. Your continuous push for like advancement, bro. Mm -hmm. Just health, healthy competition, cool, yeah. And I have to check myself too, could because I don't want to get too out of hand. But no, you know, some people aren't gifted with that drive. So like on an everyday basis, as like such a creative person, seeing you put your art onto that to his arm right there is. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different gear, you know, and that artistic ability, like on a daily thing, mm -hmm. like for you. Yeah, it, you know what I think about every day is how does other people see things? Like that's why whenever when people come to me with a design or whatever, I'm like, well, how do you see it? Show me your references and stuff that you like, and I try to tap into that realm of what you like, and I try to enhance it. So I'm trying to put steroids on everything that you give me. You give me your examples. You show me the tattoos that you like, the quality. I want to see the the taste that you have in every aspect of it, the category, the, the look, whatever it is. You know, I got I got to gain as much detail as I can absorb that and I'm gonna apply it to the human that's gonna be wearing it you know what I mean True. so uh, dude, you know the fun projects bro the new shit that you haven't tried before you're like let me do that you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. let me try that on you yeah let me just practice you know yeah, it comes to the point where I'm just giving shit out for free at this point, you know? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people, like, especially when you have ideas and, you know, uh, you want to experiment and stuff, you find people that are willing to let you yeah. be a canvas for them. You were getting me pretty excited for some of those, like, tie-dye. Like, <laughs> bro, those are fine. <laughs> bro, those are fine. I'm telling you, like, I just try to think of outside the box of ideas, like, one example yeah, it's gotta be, earlier. Yeah. But, man, there's so many stuff you can do that's right. different. Uh, you just get excited and hungry to it do is, new it's shit. It's truly beautiful, like, we're talking about it and then visually. These apps are like creative brain, creative games. Like guys in the bullpen, they go on Sudoku or they do word puzzles and it kind of locks their brain in. It gets oh, into like a narrow focus oh, yeah. so that mm -hmm. like 
when they get ready to go up and mm-hmm. face whatever hitter, their brain's already programmed like, mm-hmm. to like narrow yeah, it down and yeah. like have a focus and kind of execute a plan. Do you it's think that's where it's different if, though? If you're like centering in towards a plan, where if you're in the art, you're, yeah, you're like out. Like, oh, dude, exactly. And that's, that's the hardest part for me. I'm creative minded. Like people mm-hmm. kind of need dude, find that separation. Balance. You know? Find that balance between that creative explosion. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. Right. I mean, as a pitcher, you got to be. Got it, yeah. You've no, got that yeah. dialed in state of mind where it's like. That can be inevitable if you try to narrow it down too much and overstress about like, all right, I'm doing a word puzzle to narrow it down. I'm trying to figure it out. And it's like, instead of just like letting it, you work your mm-hmm. best when you're like flowing. And that's when you find those creative ideas and you're able to make smart decisions because you're not thinking about mm-hmm. like, all right, the this is really there. smart decision. You know, yeah. so it's like the games and the, the riddles are, to say they would be brain boosting is tough. You know what I'm saying? It can be an activity that is entertaining for yourself. But getting back to why I brought it up, like there is space where you get to, where you kind of just allow it to just flow. I just, it just comes naturally. Honestly, yeah. my brain works like at a fast pace with ideas. So when yeah. people come with me with an idea, I can't control it or stop it. It's just like <laughs> ideas just flow. I try to get as much as I can to it because my brain works like A, B, and C, and D. Yeah. Like I'm at a game show and there's like these four different ways of responding, but it comes with ideas in my mind. And then everyone has different tastes. That's what it makes it endless. Everyone yeah. wants something different. Everyone's so different. Every, there's so many different cultures, so many different people, so many different stories. Yeah, it's right. just, you know, some are more relatable than others, but they're all interesting. You know what I mean? Exactly. So that's what makes them, uh, each and every one of them very special, you know? So. Wine I was just thinking, yeah, yeah, right? should I bring that over We should here? definitely we pull up yeah. some liquor, baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's a vibe. Dude, but man, you're, you're, you know what, bro? Your energy and your spirit is contagious, bro. Because ever since you guys came to the shop, bro, all we do is fucking play baseball now. <laughs> $20 a hit or a hit in the yeah, fucking, yeah. bro. We be playing. We're competitive now because you're like, man, this is interesting. In, in the game itself, there used to be like a level of consistency for a long period of time. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If you don't have a plan, that goes with anything. If you don't have a plan yeah. before you go do something, you're doomed from the beginning. For I'm looking at as a hitter, you know, what is their plan when they get box? As a person who wants to start a business, what is their plan when they run into this problem? It's Being able like, to adapt and figure out a solution, yeah. Yeah, but you don't fall in the trap. So the rhythm of consistency where you are so stuck on that rhythm where you like, you can't expand in your own like creative identity, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's what I admire about you, bro. You be doing so much different shit. I've never even seen just well, the stuff that you be posting. Like, what are you into right now? What are you doing? Well, now, obviously, the new crib in Florida. As much as I can do, I tried to surf, golf, podcasts. We can make music if we wanted to, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, we could, now that we're going to be on the water, we have a boat, we can have access to whatever. You really set yourself totally. up here big time. Two Crazy gym in the <laughs> garage, I got dude. a gym in the, that's what I'm saying. So That is heavy weight I'm trying to, there. like, padlock the whole front of the house, and the <laughs> only way in and out is through the back. Bro, that was gonna be a escape route. Like, that's literally my plan. That's gonna be how I have it scripted. There's a couple of fire uh, audiobooks I gotta send you. One's called Relentless. Yeah. I just finished the book uh, Zen and the Art of Archery. Well, it was just about the Japanese bow shooters and how they created a spiritual connection with the way they shot the bow. Mm-hmm. It talks about like the process, like what happens from the arrow and to mm-hmm. the target mm-hmm. is created from something completely different from those two things. Mm-hmm. So like that's the part where that book kind of like centers its like piece around it. And I don't want to like spoil it too much, but it's just cool how you have to go through like a process, bro. And these dudes that's like will go through fun. the bow shooting and they'll like let go of it and I'm like. <laughs> and it won't sound right. Like their hand will bounce back or like they'll like be tensing their muscles the whole way. If there's any tense muscles like at all, when they release, then they're not doing it right. Like everything should just be at a smooth, calm like release where like they let go of it. The hand doesn't get shot back or brought forward. The breath is like with the shot. Mm -hmm. It's all just like one fluid thing and it's so spiritual. This dude could go out in the dark and just do the same thing every time and the arrow go same exact spot because like nothing changed. All Mm -hmm. he did was grab the arrow, but he controlled everything. Just, it's like everything's a dance, you know, mm-hmm. everything. I mean, I just try to relate it with my pitching because so often, like, this talks about, like, the dance when you have the bow, you know, and I got taken away plenty of times, as people do. You get caught in, the, like, the midst of the battle. You forget your own identity. Mm-hmm. Your own, you're the one dancing out there creating your own form of identity that's going to be successful or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. You, you, the highest achievers stay at that threshold, you know, and mm-hmm. can, can get to that threshold when they want to. And this book's a great way of explaining, like, how you can find that like just mindset you know it's interesting we just saw it happen the world series game one i mean all those moments they're happening especially like right when it's so dramatic
right there at the end. All those moments between the pitcher and the catcher. It's like even though you know it makes you bad call, and he he missed it. But like in your fluid of your dance, like that doesn't matter because you're dancing. Like whatever he says, you're like whatever. I'm just dancing up here. I'm thinking of like around a fire, like Spears dancing over a fire vibe <laughs> when I'm pitching. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the season. That'd be that sick tattoo sick, piece. Sick, That'd dude. Be a crazy tattoo. Piece. <laughs> dude, all right. So you were actually talking about this earlier about like man in the arena kind of thing. Yeah. How two dudes on the screen had the entire stadium dead silent yep. drop of a oh, pin. Mm -hmm. yep yeah connections are made even from that charge of the fucking crowd take it away from like my mindset imagine if it was like more spiritual like me like literally i'm in a dance and like everybody's like in tune with that and they're like anticipating the outcome based on the dance rather than like anticipating the throw like it's a different connection if i'm in the mindset of i'm in a dance rather than like i got a pitch and like right like, <laughs> for they, sure, like for when sure. that charge of the everybody else connects with my charge yeah. which is a very powerful energy that's creating the same thing as they're anticipating Mm -hmm. Like that's when like there could be a really powerful connection, bro. Yeah, in that mm -hmm. moment, that like shake the city, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. shake the whole city. Yeah, but it's I think it's like that part, the energy, being in that frame of like the spiritual realm, like mm -hmm. over the fire, like you're dancing in the smoke, like everything's just kind of like effortlessly controlling that. Yeah, energy is crazy, bro. That's wild. That might be a sick tattoo idea, dude. Yeah, something exactly. based right off that. Where's your shop at specifically? 24 Street McDowell, right in the hood, man. It's crazy. I never thought I'd be there. It's, it's uh, I kind of feel like Nipsey. It's funny because I grew up right there on 25th Place in Roosevelt. So it's not a, a good neighborhood, you know? Right. But it seemed normal to me. It's crazy. Now that I think about it, I don't like to say like, oh, I live in the hood or whatever the hell. It's, when I first opened up the shop, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. It was, I thought it was like turning around or whatever. But yeah. So uh, that's the first shop I opened up. And that's literally down the street from where I grew up. And my shop happened to be right there, like, but I definitely yeah, see like, myself opening more locations for sure. In AZ, you think, always? No, I want to I wanna start off in AZ and then uh, I want to just cultivate to like LA, Vegas, Texas, my near surroundings, yeah. you know, because I, I definitely got a strong following. What parts of Texas? El Paso, Austin, Houston. I did some conventions out there where I uh, met a lot of people out there that spread my name pretty well. So I got a lot of clients out. So anxious far. for me to come back out there, and especially in New York. I'm like, I gotta start touring again, you know? So I've been just grinding, bro. You know, just trying to build, uh, build the brand. You can do that. And you should be floating out. You know? Go tour yeah. for a couple months. Yeah, I think I want to start like competing. Um, like I know it's just like, nah, it's fun here and there, but I want to, like, I really want to get my name out there. Especially when you think of things like from a legacy standpoint, like how many tattoo artists are out there? You know, how yeah. many baseball players, how many painters, how many like in my industry, in my realm, in my world, I want to be the best at it. It's the best I could be because I know someone else that's coming up is going to see that and I hope they will surpass that because at the end of the day we're all supposed to evolve right That's we can't be good. selfish and be like oh we're lonely blah 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 no we're supposed to set our highest like, being that we could be incapable of whatever we're producing or doing at the top tier of that level and hopefully somebody can surpass that I've learned that maturity is a big part of it too. Mm -hmm. Being able to take that point of just being you and then being able to share mm -hmm. with work. I'll be like hesitant to delegate a task to somebody because I feel like I can do it better but then I never grow you know what I mean? So like down the road, if I'm keeping somebody from doing something that just because I want to do it, just because I feel like I'm going to do it better and they'll never get a chance, mm -hmm. it's going to screw us all over in the long run. Mm -hmm. Having that feel, bro. Mm -hmm. Feel is everything. That's mm -hmm. why like we were just talking about earlier. That, like, you're gifted with the feel of being a really gifted artist and like knowing the style. Like and having like the awareness. Like it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Like you know when to kind of attach and detach and just mm -hmm. like let it flow. Hell of a weekend. Umberto flew out from AZ, made a trip, made a weekend out of it. Started off first night just kind of having fun. That night we started tattooing. Detailed up the, the half sleeve from the wrist to like the elbow. Working on the back of the elbow tricep. Putting it, putting the full piece together. Put some real, real nice artwork on it. You know, we did even more last night. Just had a great time, great weekend with good people, man. And this morning we got the boat. You know, mm -hmm. looking forward to the boat. So I mean, that was something cool to experience. For me, you come full circle, moving down to Florida. Probably live that lifestyle and it all coming true. You know, we manifested yeah. all this into existence, I think. And to experience it with you boys, that's, I mean, the only way I'd want to do it. And that's why it happened how it did. So it was a great time. It's been a sick ass weekend. I got to say goodbye to Berto today. He's got, <laughs> he's got work. He's a busy mo mofo. <laughs> For busy sure. Mofo.
You know, since our last episode, we talked about Florida and that kind of being the goal and the place to be. And it's all kind of coming to fruition here this weekend. And just the fact that the three of us here have been, you know, opening this kind of this whole new thing up for you. It's like, it's been, it's been awesome. What you've put onto his arm in the last 48 hours, just the detail and the touching up, it's unbelievable. I mean, you've got, check out your, your Instagram, plug your Instagram real quick. Yeah, it's uh, Official Armors Inc. It's just some of the most amazing work that you can see put on skin. It's just vibrant. <laughs> it's a beautiful canvas. You, you talked about it a little bit last night, like how it's it's a perfect canvas and platform for you to kind of show off this beautiful artwork. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. Being expressive, you know, and being able to express, and be yourself, you know, and there's different ways to do it. You know, there's different perspectives on tattoos in general. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's a rare breed. He's a, you know, you come across a unicorn who has the feel of culture and style, gifted at the ability to draw an ink on skin. It's like, bring all those together, it's it's rare to find people that have all of that. And Berto's here, he's got all of that. What we've done is inspire myself and people you hang out with, obviously see it, but like kids who want to be expressive and are scared to go over that boundary of what they think is okay or what they think is inappropriate. It's mm-hmm. like, nothing's inappropriate unless you think it's inappropriate to yourself because you're the only one that it's just a matter to. So it's, I mean, at the end of the day, we're all given an identity, you know, and there's ways to express who you are. We all have our stories and our journeys. Like, it's special when people can, in my opinion, put together a story or at least a purpose to beautiful art on their body. Going back to the hundreds of years ago, people would find ways to mark themselves mm-hmm. and they would pierce themselves and mm-hmm. whatever they could do, you know. So there's, I mean, there's different ways to do it, different styles and cultures definitely shifted culturally mm-hmm. from what tattoos were to what they've now become and are becoming. You know, being a, on the wave of having style and like some feel and understanding the culture is a special thing. It's funny you chose your throwing arm to go full sleeve before you left. This arm right here is like, this is my life, right? Mm-hmm, you, know, mm-hmm. you, you draw on it, you paint on it, like it's lit. Most people get it on their left arm because they would think of tattoo poisoning on their arm, God forbid, or something. People get scared. And mm-hmm. it's like, I think about it. You, you like decorate what got you there, you know? It's mm-hmm. like having a boat, rig it out, and make it sexy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Just having a little boat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple big pieces on here that I know Humberto did specifically, but you're, you got the MLB logo on there with your debut date. This colored in with tie dye. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got that. I mean, the tie dye is something different. And I have a picture of my mom's eye, and it looks really like her eye, like a realistic look with the glare she has. Yeah, so you give Humberto a face, he's going to put that exact face on your skin for everybody listening. Like, it is some of the most unreal shit I've seen. Yeah, and of course, I got Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. You can see the sweat on his face, and the mm-hmm. honeycomb within his face for the bees and mm-hmm. those butterflies flying out of my out of the brain of them on top of my shoulder. Mm-hmm. This weekend was unreal. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Yeah, so manifesting everything together, and just I mean, it's been an entire year. So Cleveland Guardians had an amazing season, though. I really liked your your Instagram post about mm-hmm. the relentlessness of the team. Yeah, and being able to be uh, be underdogs and stuff like that. That's when you just get a group of people who believe in something that becomes powerful. And it's one collective group that thinks the same way. That's like when energy forms, you know, that's when it's strong. That's like, you know, even thinking about us compared to people who would be three or eight people, but they don't know each other as well as we do. We can intellect more intelligently and on the same way. I feel like, you know, with one brain, if we all like work together, that's what two humans, we've evolved to be able to work together, you know. Enjoy life, enjoy people, enjoy mm-hmm. your time, man. We're just giving this body. We're just to experience, you know, enjoying the weather as much as we can, having an active lifestyle, trying to do, do as much as we can with these bodies, man. It's like, take the risks, screw it, like. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you definitely set yourself up, and now you get to enjoy your time to, to grow and be at peace with yourself and enjoy a little bit of off time. And Yeah. You know, now I have to leave. Just stay at home, have food, you know, have everything I need, a gym, pool. If I need to escape off the back, we're on the boat, like. Mm-hmm. I'd rather not have to go anywhere. It's just not that I like being alone. There'll be times where I want to go out and experience things, but like when you're finally home, you get to chill. It's like yeah, it's super important. Safe, safe spot. Mm-hmm. You, know, you just want to be at. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like want to leave my home. You know, I don't want. I want to want to stay mm-hmm. and just hang out. Cause it's cool. Like, you put yourself in a position to be here. Like you wanted to be in Florida. This is the kind of the setup that you wanted. Yeah, you've got your your spot to work out, your place to relax. Brand new boat just came today. So, out on the water, cutting it up, right. just fishing. I'm about to set my pole up. It's just vacation all the time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but Arizona, I mean, coast to coast, Arizona's also an amazing state. 
a lot of beautiful places. So when you come down to Florida, like what was a lot of the, the differences that you saw just between the Florida climate and Arizona? Man, the weather. It's just the scenery. Everything's just so different. They, like he was the saying water, earlier, like yeah. there's exactly yeah. everything. Just, you just, you smell it. It's glowing. All you the time. feel the it. Air feels good. Like full. Yeah, so it's a different. Don't like the sweat. Mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't too bad here though. I don't feel like we, you know. On the boat, it was hot. Yeah, it felt nice though, low key. Different kind of sun. Umberto, my boy. Yes. Your Uber's here. All right. Time has come. No. It's been a fucking time, dude. Appreciate your hospitality. You're always welcome. Yeah, thank man, you, bro, for sure. You had a great time. You're a creative motherfucker, man. Thanks, bro. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, get together one day. Next time I see you, if there's tattooing going on, you'll yeah, be able oh, yeah, yeah, to for sure. We'll set it up. You got my arm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'll bring more colors this time. Yeah. If you want to get, some, get down on some color, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you bro? Welcome back, Boxing Heaters. Just kidding. We never left. Never left. Always right. As always, we're relaxing and enjoying our time here. It's a beautiful day. Just got the boat out for the first time, learning the ins and outs. Yeah. Getting some friendly tips from the neighbors. <laughs> learning the ins and outs in yeah. the inlet. That's fun, man. We really had ourselves a weekend. Berto came through, painted up the arm a little bit, decorated it, tightened up some detail, get back together. Absolutely. And the boys back together, man. So. We went on a trip together, too. We saw some shit. We seen a dolphin today. Ooh, we, had, we did see a dolphin today. That was, that was, a, cool. group, that was a good omen. As soon as we hit the open water under the bridge, dolphin said, what's up? It did. <laughs> <laughs> See you to tap in. You guys, thank you for the support. If you guys want to hear any topics in specific, just direct message us. Boxing Heaters Instagram. Let's talk about it, man. We want to hear from you guys. We got, we'll got. we talk opinions. We'll, we'll have hot takes. We'll do it all. Just communicate, let us know. Get some guests on here, too. Yeah, you guys tell us who you want to come on. We'll make it happen. Yeah, but appreciate everybody sticking through. Long time. Hope everybody's had a great 2022 heading into 2023. Let's go. Jordan year. That's right. Everybody be safe out there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Two. Chop go dance, bang. Chop go dance, go crazy. Got a bitch dancing, you wavy, Got a bitch, she wavy, yeah.